ends with valid file types. All right. Right here, what we're going to do is we're going to use the trim function, the tr trim method. And what this is going to do is it returns a copy of the string with the leading and trailing white spaces omitted. So just if you have spaces or something like that, it's going to omit it. It's going to ignore it. What we're going to do is just copy and paste the stream to appropriate play places. Where else did we make that mistake? When we're creating the vim, yeah, when we're creating the vim, we want to trim it too. It's very important. This trim method is very important. And basically just whenever we get the text, just trim it. Now that we're done, we're done with that method, add vim files and vim cache to book and add book to library. That's where we are right now. And here we also need to do that. Trim the white spaces, ignore the white spaces. All right. Now for our application, even if we say this, no infinite amount of spaces, huh, huh. Huh, I'm being embarrassed here. You guys are embarrassing me. One second. What is going on here? Parse integer, get text field, get the text, then trim it. Oh, oh, okay, because there's no number here. So let's say, uh, alright. So both of them. This shouldn't, this shouldn't return an exception. There it is. See? And even if we add some extra spaces here, space, 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 and add one, space, 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 add book to library. Hey, it's not throwing the exception. Pretty cool. So this trim method is very, extremely, extremely important. Whenever you're comparing two strings or stuff like that, All right. Um, hmm. I think that uh, that should do it. Let's actually uncomment these. Now let's move on here. Now that you know about the trim method. So what we're going to do is check if all the fields have been filled out, if they're not empty. So, um, if, sorry, <laughs> um, okay, ABP dot get text field, and we need to get everything but the, uh, but the file, text field file, because that can be optional, it already has the optional thing on it anyways, text field price, Right, so let's start with the ISBN. And then we're going to trim it to get rid of the white spaces. Sorry. Get text dot trim. And if this thing and if this thing is a If it's all just spaces, or, or the user didn't put anything there at all, not even spaces, that's what we're going to detect. So equals, or rather, content equals, just nothing. So this is just empty string. No space in between. Right? And we're going to check for all of them. So we're just going to copy and paste this four times. And end for. These are just conditions. And we want to set all fields are filled if this 
all these conditions are are uh, are tr are false, right? Because we're checking if this is a this is we're gonna, this this method right here is going to turn a bo return a boolean, and if it returns true, that means it's not filled. So this is going to return if this returns true, it's not filled. Then we're going to set, set that all fields are filled to false. So we're going to say actually say if it's not, if this is not true, meaning that there's actually something in here, we're going to set all fields are filled to true. I'm going to do that for all of them. Forget to uh, exclamation mark and the end ampersand, double ampersand. Meaning that, hey, I want to check for this condition, but I also want this condition to be true. And I also want this condition to be true. And I also want this condition to be true. And of course, change this. We're not only checking the ISBN, we're checking the title. We're also checking the author. And we're also checking the price. And I know it's kind of confusing right now, but just bear with me. All right. And if all of this is true, meaning that all of them are filled, we're just going to set this to true. All fields, and it's going to go here and it's going to say, hey, all fields are filled? Yeah, it is. Let's actually test this out. Hey, please out all non-optional fields. Okay, let's do that. One, one one and then something like this or maybe let's add like a A here ISBN or price is not a number alright is it a number now? Huh? is it a number now? yes it is and then it's not doing anything because we still haven't done anything here if all of these restraints are if everything is successful, we're going to go here. We've checked everything and everything is good. All the fields are filled. There's no number format exceptions. You know, they're all numbers, the ones that entered. The ISBN doesn't exist yet. We're going to create, we're going to actually add our book to the library and all of its, all of the sound files, all, I'm sorry, all of the files, of the Vim files that are, the, that are in the Vim cache in the book and then actually add the book in the library. So book ISBN um, uh, what was it again? Title. So we need to get the uh, ABP dot get text field title dot get text again trim it. As a matter of fact, let's copy and paste this again. Here, get the text field author, get text trim. Oh, geez. Also takes in the price, which you have well, already created there, which is a double. Control Shift F. Right, the price. That's the price. Set that to that. All right. Okay. So now that we created our book, we have a bunch of files in the in the Vim cache, a, a bunch of a bunch of files in no, a bunch of Vim files in the Vim cache. What we're going to do is we're going to add all of the all of those files inside all of those Vim files inside our book. 